Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be finally shooting this video for y'all. On today's video, I will be discussing five film cameras that every film collector needs or film photographer if you're not a collector. Um, I know you don't need these cameras, but I feel like these five cameras will definitely help you out when you're out there shooting. If you find this video interesting, please give it a like button and stay tuned. So number one on the list will have to be a medium format camera. A medium format camera that I have is the Yashica D. This camera never fails me. I've shot numerous of times on this, different weather conditions, nighttime photography, daytime. I'm in love with this camera. Like this is, if I had to choose a medium format, this would probably be like my go-to camera. And you can find them for a decent price now on eBay, or Etsy, um, but just be careful. Make sure that the buyer is, uh, you know, has good feedback. Um, but this camera is has a beautiful, beautiful sharp lens. Mine has an f-stop of 3.5, and it has like a waist level viewfinder as well. And man, I love this camera. Next up, we have to be a point and shoot camera, but not just any point and shoot camera. I recommend getting a point and shoot camera where you can change the ISO. This Canon AF35 SureShot is my go-to camera where I don't need to zoom in. It's an f2.8 and super fast as well. And man, this, this camera just automatically rewinds. Like, I, I'm obsessed with this camera. Like, this is definitely like my number one. I always pick this camera up. And this camera, you can find for a good price. Um, I recommend this one for the Minolta High Matic uh, AF2. Great camera as well. Just with that one, you have to wind it yourself. This one is automatic. The reason why I recommend as well the ISO is because you can overexpose expired film. I've shot expired film plenty of times in this. Say if the film is 400 ISO, I would shoot it at 100 ISO, um, depending on what year it is. So I, I cannot stress how much you guys need this in your arsenal. Number three, next up on the list, SLR 35 millimeter cameras. I have four of them in my collection. I recommend the Pentax K1000. If you're just starting off, this camera was my first uh, 35 millimeter SLR camera. I've learned film photography on it, has a built-in light meter. Um, then I ended up getting the Nikon N2000. I have the Yashica Electro 35GS. And I have this wicked cool Pratica waist level SLR as well. Um, these cameras you can find for a great price, man. I highly recommend getting yourself a 35 SLR film camera. For one main reason will have to be the interchangeable lenses. You can shoot um, in low light, bulb mode, nighttime photography. You can get some beautiful portraits with an SLR camera. I'm recording on my phone now because my camera died, but there's no excuses. I gotta get this video done for y'all. Number four on the list is a zoom in point and shoot camera. I have the Olympus Stylus Epic Zoom 170, but I recommend a Canon SureShot. Um, Minolta's are also great, and I've seen some other Olympus uh, point and shoot cameras that are also great just as well. So this one doesn't allow you to change the ISO, which is fine. You can trick it if you want, but um, I just use this for whenever I'm like far away, when I know I'm going to be far away and I want to get some zoom in shots, like at a concert or anything, you know, street photography, anything that, that just, I need something quick to zoom in and just get the job done. So definitely a point and shoot zoom in camera is what I recommend. Number four on the list. Last but not least, number five on my list will have to be just any Polaroid Instax camera. So I have my dream Polaroid camera, which is a XS70. I customize it to be blue. Very beautiful camera. It allows you to get some nice shallow depth of field. Uh, Canon portrait shot. Exposure dial is great. I'm still learning it. But I recommend a Polaroid One Step Flash. It uses 600 speed film, which you can find at Best Buy, Walmart, Amazon. A lot of places have it. Uh, this one in particular uses XS70 film and it's a little bit bigger. Definitely would recommend an instant camera for number five on my list. I just kind of wanted to show you guys a little bit of the collection that I have. That's my XS70 right now. These are some mini DVDs and VHS that I have. These are my SLRs. 
Uh, the Nikon, definitely recommend one of these. This is pretty cool. This is a Lamography Sprocket Rocket camera. Love this camera. I got a 35 millimeter Olympus stylus, a 3D camera, which this one is super, super fun to use. That's gonna wrap it up for today's video, guys. Please like it if you enjoyed it. Comment below what cameras do you have in your film collection and stay tuned for more videos. I know I've been a little MIA lately, but I'm gonna get right back on it and start filming more content for y'all. So don't be afraid to create, stay positive. See y'all in the next one, peace.